This is the second module in, this, in the course, Business and Society. This is Jim Hazy, your instructor. This module will focus on the important topic of business ethics and social responsibility in today's rapidly changing business environment. Let's start with some ethics basics. Business ethics is defined as the principles and standards that determine acceptable conduct in business. The acceptability of behavior in business is determined by not only the organization itself, but also by its stakeholders, such as its customers, its competitors, government regulators, interest groups, and the public, as well as by each individual's personal principles and values. Most unethical activities within an organization are supported by an organizational culture. Though that in, this sometimes the culture has problems with it that encourage individuals to bend the rules, extra long coffee breaks, that sort of thing. Good ethics leads to trust, and in business, trust in all the relationships involved is the glue that holds the company, customer, employee, employee, and employee customer relationships together. The recent global financial crisis took a toll on customer trust in financial services companies, for example, that led to a reduction in borrowing and the use of the bank of banks in industry. So you can see that whenever one loses trust, it has long-term effects in the health of the business system. The tr to truly create an ethical culture, however, managers must show a strong commitment to ethics and compliance. This is the tone from the top. It requires top managers to acknowledge that their own role in supporting ethics and compliance is to create strong relationships with the general counsel and with ethics across the organization and with the client compliance department so that they, everyone realizes that when the compliance department is involved, so too is top management. These organizations clearly communicate the company expectations for ethical behaviors, what is ethical and what is not for all employees and to all employees, educate all managers and supervisors about how the company's ethics policies play out and train managers and employees on what to do if ethical crises occur. In the next, le uh, next lecture, we'll look more deeply at what we mean when we talk about social responsibility. After that, we'll dive more deeply into both of these important topics.